Hey, this is Stu, and I'm here to show you the all-new Magic Bullet film. So I'm here in Premiere Pro with a fun little piece of footage of a zombie who's about to get kicked in the head. And let's just grab Magic Bullet film and drop it on this clip. So right away, you can see that we've dramatically changed the look of the shot. And uh, let's take a look at what's going on here. Oh, poor zombie. All right, so first up is we choose what our footage is. So we've got a choice of video, flat, or log. Depending on what uh, kind of video you've shot, you want to adjust that appropriately. Then here comes the fun part. You choose a negative film stock. Now this is the film that would have been in the camera. The default is Kodak 5218, which was a popular film stock for many, many years. But you've got, here's like Kodak 5229, Kodak 5205. There's some Fuji film stocks like Fuji 8543, Fuji 8553, turn to vivid. But whenever you're talking about shooting on film, you're also talking about printing on film. So you've also got this choice of print stock. We've got four different ones to choose from. The default is Kodak 2383, which is vision stock, but you've also got Fuji, which gives a slightly warmer look. Okay, so that would be cool in and of itself. Real film looks based on film we actually shot, scanned, measured, and built into this effect. But in the world of really shooting film, you didn't just shoot film and call it, call it a day. There's all kinds of ways that you adjust the look of your shots with printer lights in post-production, with camera techniques. So we've got those controls here for you. You can adjust the color temperature, warmer, cooler. You can adjust the tint towards green or magenta. You can adjust exposure, contrast, all these kinds of familiar kind of controls that you want. There's even some fun things like you can add a little bit of a vignetting effect, you can control the amount of grain, and you can even have one-stop shopping for the skin tones in your shot. Just a real easy way to adjust all the kind of warmer colors in the shot. Because we really want you to be able to just grab this effect and go. Maybe the most fun one is the vintage modern slider. When we were shooting these film stocks we found some old film that had been left in the back of a fridge for almost 10 years. And if you drag this slider toward the left, you get that sort of old, dingy, vintage film stock kind of a look. Whereas if you drag it to the right, you get a look that's more heavily influenced, say, by the hand of an aggressive colorist. You get your kind of traditional warmed up midtones and highlights and cooled off shadows. Whatever you do, though, whatever you choose, all of these will always play back in real time right in your editing software. It's a great way to get a quick and powerful film simulation onto your footage that is more than just a lookup table. It's actually something you can control, personalize, customize. And you know what? If you want a little bit less of it, we've got a strength slider, so you can just back it off. So here's our before, and here's our after. And on top of that, we've actually got, in addition to our measured film stocks, we've got some made-up ones. So here's, for instance, Prolochrome 3550, which is kind of a fun one. And we've got some black and white film stocks. So that's Magic Bullet Film. Real world film stocks, customized by you, playing back in real time, right inside your editing software.